Um, I am not a Christian. I was a Christian as a young woman, as a child, really, and then um, as a young Welcome to a brand new series on our channel, Daughters of Sheba Foundation, Everything Women. This series dives deep into the powerful and authentic story of Claudette, who will share her life journey from as far back as she can remember, starting at just two years old, to her present day experiences. Through this series, Claudette will unpack the complexities, challenges, and triumphs of being a woman navigating through life's diverse stages. From childhood and adolescence to career growth, childhood essay, motherhood, marriages, mental health challenges, domestic violence, financial ruin, restoration, and now in her 60s, she will candidly reveal how she broke through societal stereotypes and embraced her true self. Each episode will shed light on the untold realities of women's lives, offering insights, lessons, and inspiration to women of all ages. This series is not just a reflection of one woman's life, but a testament to the resilience and strength shared by many. Join us as we go beyond the surface and explore the real life experiences that shape who we are as women. Hey, how are you? My name is Claudette Esterine Campbell and I am the chairperson and president of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. Um, I was just now um, taking a shower. And as I went in, I always carry my phone. Um, I am not a Christian. I was a Christian as a young woman, as a child, really. And then um, as a young woman, my perspective changed and so forth and evolved and revolved and all of that. So now I'm at the place where I used to say, I'm not religious, I'm spiritual, but I found that empty because the truth is I believe in a higher power. That's that, that's the truth. I don't believe that, I don't know about you, but I don't believe that I'm here by accident. I'm here for a purpose. So as I went into the shower, I as I do every day or just about all the time, I took my phone with me and I found a motivation or some meditation or something to listen to because my best ideas come to me when I'm in the shower pretty early in the morning. I'm usually up by three in the morning. So as I went into the shower this morning, um, I found a YouTube channel that just came up, you know, in the recommendation. And it's it was a young man and it's called um, Purpose Driven, something like that. And um, it really touched me and inspired me to do what I'm doing now. As I said, I am the chairperson and president of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. We are on Facebook. We are on just about every social media platform, but most of our attention has been on Facebook until recently, a month ago, that while we have had YouTube, we have had YouTube for four or five years, but the organization is four years old. And we've had YouTube for all of that time. We used to just post our videos there as a storage. Um, in the last month, and that's a story I'll tell you about, we decided, well, I decided to, to be more intentional about our presence on YouTube. So listening to this young man, um, I guess he was the final nail for me that said, you need to do this. You know, people need to know who you are. Um, you are, you're not just another over 40 woman, woman over 40. And that's our focus on YouTube and now on Facebook, that our target audience is women over 40. And who am I as a woman over 40? Why is it that um, we focus on women over 40, women period, focus on the issues of women empowerment and all of that? If you follow us at Daughters of Sheba Foundation, you will see lots of videos and conversations, and that's what I do best. I do conversations. So lots of videos and conversations about women issues, women empowerment, and so forth. We do things like life hacks, psychology, mental health, all of that kind of thing for women over 40 and women generally. But as I listened to this young man this morning, and I need to go find out his name, he inspired me to do this because um, 
and I might cry. Let's let's just get that out of the way. I might cry, but he inspired me to tell my own story, give you my why. Why did I find this found this organization? My usual story is that <clears throat> it was founded after my husband was unalived. My last husband um, was unalived in Jamaica in 2020. We were dating. We were in a relationship for close to 18 months. And we finally got married in um, January 2020. And by July, on in America's Independence Day, he was unalived. And um, through my process, one of the things that came out of my process was to, fa to found um, the organization that is now called the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. And, you know, I always thought that <clears throat> it was just, not just, but it was my way of grieving and getting through and past the pain, the disappointment, everything that was involved. But that's not true. That's not true. It's deeper than that. It goes way, way beyond that. As again, I said, my name is Claudia Testerine Campbell. I'm 59 years old. In February of next year, I will be 60 years of age. And I want to share with you my journey. I feel it is important to share my journey, my story, and inter intersperse it with stories, anecdotes, quotes, and all of that. And I don't know how regularly I'll post these videos here on YouTube. I don't know. It's, it's going to be a work in progress. But I feel that there's at least one woman out there, and that has always been my thing, the one woman who might be motivated because inspiration comes from within you. Nobody can inspire you. You inspire yourself. You are motivated externally. That's the psychology part of me, the part of me that is a therapist, counselor that's coming through. So I hope to motivate that one woman with and through my story or that one young woman with and through my story. So I invite you to subscribe to this platform, the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. You can also go over to Facebook and follow us on Facebook, the same name, Daughters of Sheba Foundation. We're at LinkedIn, under my name, Claudette Esterine, and we are on threads and so forth. But follow, subscribe here at, at YouTube. And like I said, I don't know. It might be every day. Sometimes it might be once a week. Sometimes it might be every three days. I don't know. As I'm moved by spirit, I will um, make a post. I will do a video, but I want to share my journey and I'm going to start from the beginning. So it's we're going to be covering almost 60 years over a period of time um, by my 60th birthday in February. I hope you will still be here um, having this conversation with me. I'm usually not into talking to the camera by myself. I'm usually having conversations with people. I'm usually the one posing the questions, giving my opinion based on the answers, but this is different. And I'm doing as the young man for, on that platform and go find it. It's called purpose driven. As he said, just do it. And I'm just going to do it, which is to tell my story, to, to, to have you walk with me, to let allow me to walk with you. And maybe through my storytelling, the story of my life, I am nobody in terms of being celebrity and millionaires and all of that. This is not what that is about. This is about a 60, almost 60 year old woman who a woman over 40, who is very much into women's empowerment issue and who wants to inspire, mo inspire myself, motivate you to do the same, live your story. Not just listen to my story, but live your story, because that's all we have, our story. We are here to write our story, as instilled in us, as some of you might say, as God destined. Um, I say source most of the time, but sometimes I do say God, because like I said, I do believe that there is a greater power. There is a driving force. There is something that ignites that 
which is within us. So I do hope you you will follow. This is not about enjoyment. It is about sharing. It is about interacting. It is about engaging with you. And I hope that you will interact with the rest of our content on this platform. But I, if you only watch these videos that I post about my own story, and I'm going to start from day one, as far as I remember it, or as I was told. And I do hope you share it with young women. I have a daughter. Um, she is what, 37 years old. And I have two granddaughters. One of them is 10 and the other is five. And I hope that you share it with other grandmothers. You know, I got a message this morning on our Facebook page from a woman who is 84. And I don't know how many children she has, but based on what she said, there's two kids in her life. She's 84 and she has not seen her children or her grandchildren in 30 years. This is a story of many women. And these stories are not told because people don't want to believe that these things happen, that there are women, there are mothers who might not have done anything wrong. They might have, they might not have done anything wrong, but that they're estranged from their family and they're walking through this life at this time alone. So I know the popular culture is that people like myself is being questioned, what are we doing on social media, we should be off and so forth. Now, social media is the future. And this is the way the wisdom of the ages will be passed down. In, back in the day, it used to be by the fireside. Back in the cave day, it used to be by the fireside. Later on, it was at the kitchen table. Now, it's at this table, the table of social media, that the wisdom will be passed on. And I hope at some point, I will be counted as one of those who helped with that. So, like I said, subscribe. Please be a part of this. And, um, yeah, I don't know when I'll be back. I might be back later today. Who knows? But... Thank you for watching so far. This is the, day, the first day of a new period in my life, Claudette Estherine Campbell. And even my name, I have, there is a story about my name that I will share with you. So thank you for being here. Bye-bye. See you soon. Make sure to subscribe, tune in, and be part of this empowering journey.